the time now. It's 8.32 in the morning time on this Friday morning, July 11th, 2014 on a Friday, Friday morning. It's time to have a word with your opinion with the Boy Report. Friday morning, July 11th, 2014. Good morning to you all this lovely Friday morning our current nation at 8.32 a.m. in North Massachusetts. 6, 6, 66 degrees on temperature at first class. Humidity at 90%. Wind speed is calm. Parameter 3.19 inches. Jupiter about 63 degrees and visibly 8 miles. Alright, let's take a look at our radar scope and it shows some spotty rain shots in the southeastern portions of Prince Edward Islands. Rain showers around the east central portions of Nova Scotia, western portions of Nova Scotia. A lot of showers down the Atlantic seaboard from off the southeastern Massachusetts, stretching all the way down off the Florida coast, off the northeastern Florida coast line here. And some rain showers by the Bahamas and stretching down off the Florida Gulf Coast from Fort Myers west to Tampa and off Tallahassee. And some spotty rain showers by the eastern and central portions of Arkansas here. And spotty showers of source from Nebraska, stretching western Iowa, and a lot of rain showers from eastern Iowa, stretching up in north central Iowa, down from southeastern Minnesota, down from western Wisconsin, down from northeastern Minnesota, down from south central Ontario. Okay, let's cue the Minneapolis radar here, and it shows some spotty of rain showers around the Minneapolis and St. Paul areas and around the suburbs surrounding it. But To the northwest of the Minneapolis, a lot of yellows and orange, which is heavy rain from Madoka, stretching out of Chaplin, down to Osseo, stretching out of the Corcoran, down to Hanover, down to Buffalo, and out of the Maple Lake here. So, those of you in the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, you are going to have a wet commute this morning here, which is 7.30 out of the Twin Cities, 8.30 in Norton here. And... We have some spotty sh rain shots from South Central Texas and North Central Mexico here. Rana rain shots from Peru Hill in Mexico, stretching out from Southeastern Arizona, spread New Mexico, and spotty rain shots from no North Eastern California, Southern Oregon, and North Western Utah, Nevada, stretching from Eastern Nevada, and North, North Central Utah, and North Southern Wyoming, and North, North Central Colorado, and some Rana rain shots from Eastern Montana, and North Northwestern. North Dakota and a lot of rain shots in South Central, Saskatchewan and uh, Southwest of South Central, Manitoba and the West Central portions of Ontario here. Laurie, Ohio. Good morning. 63 degrees with hazy skies. South Idle shows a lot of clouds coming up from Atlantic Canada, stretching all the way down to Atlantic Seaboard, stretching out to Georgia, Central Alabama, Mississippi, down for Arkansas. Spotted clouds from Southern Texas and out from Mexico, and a lot of clouds from North Central California, stretching out of Nevada, stretching all the way down to Utah, Colorado, down from Wyoming, down from Nebraska, stretching out of Iowa, down from Minnesota, all the way up to Wisconsin, and up to Ontario, down from North Central, and Northwestern, Manitoba, down from Northeastern, Saskatchewan, a lot of clouds from Northeastern, Montana, Northwestern, North Dakota, down from South Central, Saskatchewan, there, and a patch of clouds from Western Florida Gulf Coast, there, and let us take a look at our cold. A map situation. Cold front from Central Oregon stretching it down from Montana up to North Dakota and up to Eastern Manitoba and a warm front from Northeastern Manitoba and down from Ontario. And a station front from Nebraska stretching to Kansas and Oklahoma and down through the Gulf States and stretching it down through the coastal Carolinas up to the Atlantic Seaboard and up to New Brunswick here. Here we got low pressure in Southeastern Mississippi, the Carolinas, and Western Kansas and Western Dakotas there. And high pressure in the Gulf of Mexico and Southwestern Idaho and Central Ontario, 67 degrees on temperature in Boston, it's 73 in Washington, D.C., 74 in Atlanta, 81 in Miami, it's 78 in Brunsville, 75 in Dallas, Texas, 70 in Kansas City, 64 in Chicago, 68 in Minneapolis, 61 in Great Falls, Montana, 59 in Seattle, 61 in San Francisco, 67 in Los Angeles, 70 in Salt Lake City, 65 in Denver, and 72 in Albuquerque, here. Current conditions of the region, we have a 65 degree temperature reading for Beverly and Bedford and in Lexington, 67 in Boston, 68 in 
Fitchburg, 65 in Lawrence, 63 in Gloucester, 64 in Worcester and Sturbridge, 66 in Webster and Milford, 67 in Norwood, 66 in Taunton, 69 out in Bedford, 66 in Plymouth, 68 in Falmouth, 69 in Chatham, 66 in Parfus 68 in Cape Cod Bay, 69 in Marfus Vineyard, 65 in Nantucket, 68 in Marfus Vineyard, and Buck Island and Providence, 69 in West 66 in Smithfield, and 67 in Springfield, uh, 62 in Ott, 62 in Amherst, 63 in Greenfield, it's 58 in North Ham, 61 in Pittsfield, 64 in Albany, New York, 62 in Bayton, Vermont, 62 in Jeffy, 61 in Keene, 61 in Concord, 63 in Manchester, 65 in Ash West, 64 in Portland, Hampshire, 62 in New Hampshire Bay, 68 in Winslow, 67 in Hartford, 69 in Meriden, 66 in Waterbury, 70 in Denbury, 73 in Bridgeport, 67 in New Haven, 70 in Long Island Sound, 68 in Marf... In Ke 68 in Long Island Sound, 71 in... Islip, 68 in Montauk, 75 in New York City, here. Okay, forecast discussion around the country. Showers and thunderstorms will continue firing from the central plains across the mid Mississippi Valley and in the Midwest. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue from the southeast to the middle Atlantic region and hot weather will persist across the southern plains states. While very cool mid summer cool fronts begin to affect the northern plains that have been missed to be found by Sunday, a zone of possible heavy thunderstorms is expected to develop across the central plains and the mid Mississippi Valley into the Midwest over the next couple of days, this storm is expected to be developed between cool air making its way south along the northern tier of the U.S. and hot weather across the southern plains, with unsuitable moisture across the southwest and welcome by the state's field of the development of some of these storms. Flash flooded the possibility a severe weather will possibly accompany these thunderstorms. A slowly weakened and newly stationary front will be the site of numerous showers and thunderstorms across the middle Atlantic states that should gradually diminish over the weekend. However, warm and humid conditions promote scattered showers and thunderstorms across much of the southeast with opportunity to promote a more widespread coverage of storms. Some of the hottest weather around the country will be found across the southern plains where conditions but dry, but temperatures will soar to 90 to 100 degrees and to the western region. But so moisture will funnel northward across the desert southwest and across the Great Basin of the Southern Rockies where locally heavy thunderstorms are capable of producing some flash flooding. A well after times that had usually large outbreak of chillier from the northern Canada expected to plunge southward across the central Canada early in the weekend and then continue southward into the northern plains and the Midwest on Sunday. Where temperature expected to be well below noble and seed, more typical bottom of, of summer here. Alright, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around New England here. Tranquil weather today and tomorrow as high pressure settles over the region and subtle weather in the former showers and thunderstorms turns late Sunday and early next weekend there will be potential for strong winds and heavy rainfall. Near term until 7 p.m. this evening, 7 a.m. up date. Cold flood is now south and technical well, all locations reported north and northeast with a drier and less humid air beginning to stream across the region with two points down to the 50s, except stills in the 60s close to the front across the south coast and mid level trail remains west of New England as a result of southwest of flow aloft the prevails. Across the region, and this result in the middle of the middle of the moving it across. Eastern Connecticut, Rhode Island, Eastern Massachusetts, however, back edge of the nest, cloud shield is far beyond. Hartford, Connecticut, Northeast, and Manchester, Hampshire, and moving steadily eastward, and thus expected to increase the clouds as the morning progresses. Here, some of us candidates included the HRR hits that the potential for a few afternoon showers at the middle level of the trail moves throughout the region. However, the closer inspection of the guy more indicates mid level drier becomes deeper as the day progresses. This should preclude shower development and only yield some moderate buildups that previous podcast had handled as well. So no major change to expect to win this update. Okay, let us take a look what's going on. Nothing's brewing out in the tropics. Here, check the... National Hurricane Center website a few minutes ago. And nothing is brewing in the Atlantic. Concerning in the Eastern Pacific here. The latest on Gary, now a tropical depression, 35 miles per hour, wind gusts 45 miles per hour, it's off the northeastern coast of Japan, east of the northeast coast of Japan. And, we got tropical de And 
and we got Trouble Storm 9, 40 miles per hour. We got 50 miles per hour. It's going to straight fit to as far as possible. Category 3 storms is going to be north of Manila and around Tuesday afternoon. So that's a long way from there. And. And we have a slight risk of severe weather from northeastern Minnesota and another risk of severe weather from eastern Wyoming, north of eastern Colorado, Nebraska, and western Iowa. And some slugs, population centers of risk are the Loaf, Minnesota, Sioux City, Iowa, Fremont, Nebraska, North Platte, Nebraska, and North of Nebraska. Large hail, damaging winds, few tornadoes can't be ruled out of here. Alright, let's take a look at a map situation. Okay. It's going to be another beautiful day at that. Around 74 to 84 degrees for Friday, Saturday, oh my, this is going to be another beautiful weekend on tap. Beer, 74 to 84 for Friday, Saturday will be 79 to 86 degrees, and for Sunday, 872 to 80. Three degrees. Wow, this is going to be a beautiful weekend attempt. And we have a low risk of some thunderstorms late Sunday from western, from Vermont, western New Hampshire, and I'm going to put a western Massachusetts connected and stretch it all the way down to the Great Lakes and a higher risk of thunderstorms from eastern Missouri from St. Louis, stretch it out of southern Illinois, Indiana, and down to Ohio, western Pennsylvania, and down to southwestern New York. Here. All right, let's take a look. Got a view from the outside here. And it shows another beautiful day on tap beer. Alright, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. Well, yes, today. Most of the test skies with a high near 81 degrees, east with about 7 miles per hour. For the night, part of fog after 2 a.m. above us, part of got low 57 degrees and light and variable wind. For Saturday, part of fog before 7 a.m. above us, sunny skies under 85 degrees, light southwest wind becoming south about 5 to 9 miles by the afternoon. For Saturday night, part of fog and part of got low 63 degrees and southwest wind about 5 to 8 miles per hour. For Sunday, slight chance of showers after 3 p.m. Most of the sky got at 81 degrees at south, with about 6 to 13 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20 percent. Side of that, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Most of the sky got low to 6 to 9 degrees at chance of precipitation 30 percent. Monday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 10 a.m. Most of the sky got high of 85, low about 71 degrees. For Tuesday, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Most of the sky got high near 80 and low about 6 to 9 degrees at chance of precipitation 50 percent. Wednesday, chance of showers and thunderstorms and Wednesday. Morning and after the dead podcast guys on Wednesday evening high about A1 low about 65 degrees and the chance of precipitation 30% and for Thursday. Most of the sky guys had 82 degrees. Peter's one of the of the day, a fantastic Friday on tap. Alright, Peter Channel News Time, it's 8.45 and it's time now for a traffic report here in Southeast Express. We got the door on the northbound side, a little slow from Marcy Boulevard all the way down to Dorchester. 93 South Little Soul for Bedford all the way down for the, the to down for the Tip O'Neill Tunnel and Route 1 South Little Soul from Revere all the way down to to Tormer Bridge due to some rail construction here. Mass Pike East Bad Side. A neck to the as you approach 93 in Boston here. But otherwise, a good go for Boston Disturbage here. And 120 on the northbound side, an accident on Route 120 northbound western near the Mass Pike exit. So try to have some extra time if you're in the area as, as, as the on ramp from 120 and then Mass Pike is slow. And 120 moving on time on both sides from Braintree to Gloucester Air. Route 3 southbound, a little slow, you approach 95, 120 in Burlington. 393 and 95, a good goal from 120 to the New Hampshire border. 495 wildfire from Abesbury all the way down through Sagamore. 
and Warham and 95 to 24 good go for 128 to the Red Island border. Route 3 is qualified for Break 3 to the South Bar. And Route 28 is qualified for Buzz Bay Dr. Fallon and Route 6 good go for, for South Bar to our leads here. 140 on the northbound side and exited on 140 north in Lakeville here. So try to let us out extra time here. But otherwise, you're good to go from Tartan to Bedford here. And 195 westbound. 195 boom. Find them both sides from Providence all the way down to Wareham here. And take a look at the Providence outlook. 146 south. A little sore from Red Chapel to Dodd Field. 95 and 95 south. A little sore from Protect it all the way down to Route 6 out of the southbound side in the Providence area. But otherwise, a good commute around the Rhode Island area on all the highways and byways here. And Route for a little slow right north of Kingston, but otherwise, a good commute. And take a look at the MBTA here. And the commuter rail. The, all the lines connected South Station. The Freeman and Worcester line, the Franklin line, the Kingston Plymouth line, the Middleborough, the Needham line, the, the Providence North line got 30 to 45 minute delays due to a broken signal here. So if you're taking the train, try to try to allow some, some extra time on the train because this is a broken signal. This major wish we have a good day with a good positive attitude here.